guys, welcome to Jerry Bear Reacts. Today we're going to react to Season 1, Episode 13, a.k.a. the Season 1 finale of Lucifer, entitled Take Me Back to Hell. If you're new here, feel free to subscribe for daily content. If there's a day, there is a reaction. Links will be in the description box down below for the Patreon, the Twitch stream, and everything in between. Jerry will do his best work behind the scenes. Lucifer figured out, oh boy, uh, oh, why do I keep forgetting his name? I almost just said Maddox or Morgan, Malcolm. There we go. And it was the M name. We figured out Malcolm. Planted some evidence, trying to pin it on old Reverend Williams. Lucifer, in a minute, he'll have a fight. Maze is like, I'm a pawn to both of you. I'm taking some respect for myself. My only friend in life is a therapist, an eight-year-old girl. Something's wrong with me. Lucifer expresses his feelings, finally tells Chloe she feels like he feels like she's being used against him. And she finds a dead body, using probable cause, depending on Lucifer. Well, to say that feels like he did it. Gun to him right now, surrounded by the police. And let's get into it. Jerry, get to work, baby. And let's get into the season one finale. Boop. Come on, detective. You can't seriously believe I killed that pathetic malcontent. Doesn't matter what I believe. That's all that matters, Detective. Put your hands in the air and surrender yourself. <laughs> this isn't funny, Lucifer. Just having a psychotic break. <laughs> I think this is the grandest joke that I've heard in all my time. Finger off the trigger, that's good. The best part is, it's on me! Don't shoot him, he's unarmed. Oh, you don't know that. Maybe I have a gun. That's in the air! Do it! No! He fired a bullet. What the fuck just happened? Did he just use his coin to leave? Are you all... Search the area. He couldn't have gotten far. One, two, three, four, five people staring at somebody who just disappears. You think he ran? Did he use his coin? Did he have a backup coin? A uh, minute deal done came and saved the day. He done came and slowed down time and- Can we not tell anyone you just carried me in your arms like a baby? What were you trying to accomplish in there? Uh, <laughs> Looks like I'll light a cigarette in the rain. Take me back to hell. No. Roll credits! So now that goof nut bitch has a weapon they keep saying can hurt somebody. <sighs> Maze just set both of those down. You can just walk up. Oh, wow, that's pretty crazy. I'll take it. Don't, isn't there like a chain of command here? This shit's just flying off the rails. Hey. You don't want to take me back to hell? The one bloody thing you've wanted this entire time? The entire season. <laughs> Did I punch you in the head too hard? Maze was right, Lucy. We used her. And Malcolm. People have died because of us. Because of you, you mean? Yes, because of you. <laughs> right. At least he owned up to it. Whether somehow I lost sight of the bigger picture, of the cost of my actions, and just how truly selfish. I feel like it's the first time Emmanuel called him brother. I like that. Now, and I need to make this right. Make it right, then, baby. Is actually scarier than the angry one. I need to find Malcolm. <sighs> one last bit of punishment on the way out. I got you, brother. Teamwork like makes the dream work, baby. <laughs> oh, Lucy, I'm home. <laughs> An egotistical twit. Hello? Hi. Oh, I'm sorry, Dr. Kanan. I didn't realize that you were in session with a Lucifer. Wait, it's oh. not. I can't believe it's this. not what it looks like. You're stealing my patience. No, that's no. Um, not exactly. No. Actually, you may be just what we need, my dear doctor. <laughs> she's she's so fucking pissed off. Where are you going? Lucifer thinks I abandoned him. We need to find him. He said, where are you going? She didn't even take a fucking step. She just like turned. Where are you going? Your brothers. 
Unfortunately. <laughs> terrible time working together, but because you've been so helpful with me, Linda, hopefully you can help fix our problems. Listen, They're in fucking couples shot. therapy together. Real doctor? <laughs> I love them you together. You to me about being a doctor. You got so you confidential in... Lucifer, who is actually your brother. Yes. Somehow. What the fuck Do does that mean? Do you realize the ethical position you've put me in? <laughs> and you. Let me guess. You were going to make a sexual joke about putting me in a position. That's Winner. Because everything's a joke to you. And now Malcolm's on the run. He's going to need to start a new life, too. No, see, you're doing it again. No idea. None Bank another. account, passport. I know just the person to go to. Yep. <sighs> hey, Linda, we love you. Damn, you're good. She's... Yeah. <laughs> she, I know, she's sitting there like, hey, I have a fucking doctorate for this. All right, like, I went to school... And learn the ropes to be able to do this. This is bullshit. Because every day was a party. Every sin, every desire LA offered. We took part. And then he met you. And then Chloe so Dunn came in. My fault that the party's over. Ruined the party, yeah. yeah. And the fact that you're hunting him down like a dog. Party pooper. I don't think he killed the preacher. I need you to help me find him before another cop does. Uh oh, May's putting on a jacket. I'm coming with you. You can't come with me. Oh, she's You're going to. Needed my help finding him, right? I don't see anybody else backing you up. And she put her leather jacket on, and she doesn't even question that her fucking angel devil murdering demon daggers are just gone. No question about it whatsoever. Just accepting that. Okay. That brother dead. Byron was a nice guy. A Damn, Byron. Guy. He fixed I think I might know just the person who can help us. Rhymes with douche. Thanks, Neil. It's Dan, by the way. I wish I had my knife. Ah, at least you mentioned it. I never need them. At least she mentioned it. That's all that matters. I appreciate that. Boot, do, 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 do. Just like Lucy. She don't even question that shit anymore. Hello? I to think I almost killed you in your sleep that one time. Wait, what? <laughs> She really did. Oh, my buck came in blasting with the shoddy to hottie. Oh. Oh, now I know why he likes working with you. I know Maze is into that shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Please tell me he's not with you. You can't just. I mean, to be fair, y'all broke into her house. Sorry, I thought you were my husband. No, I thought it was quite clever. Oh. Ooh. Bang. You need to get the hell out of here. Well, we're going to need some information first. Who are you? Not this again. He's my brother. I know. Shocking, isn't it? He's much less handsome than I am. <laughs> We're looking for Malcolm, Detective. Now we've been uh, you're both equally handsome, man. It's okay. Tommy? There are a lot of Tommies in. Oh. A bear, of course. In a holding cell. Why not? And we're gone. Right out the window with his little angel wings, bro. You know he can slow down time. Well, you don't, but we do. Okay, Tommy Campolongo. That makes sense that you have cash on him. But he's not going to hand it over nicely. I'm leaving the precinct now. Okay, meet me there with backup if not far. Chloe, don't go. Damn it. Did he say that, like, hey, Lucy and his brother was here? Y'all going to leave that man by himself? In front of Malky? But hey. Milk of Magnesia? Gift horse and all that, am I right? Just go ahead. Those those two bodyguards didn't get far. Just scream and bring them back. What the fuck? Open. What about your mortality situation? Or it's kind of well, nonsense when yeah. the detective's not around. I'll explain later. But for now, can we just you know enjoy the moment? Just enjoy the moment. It's two brothers, man. I got you, brother. <laughs> After you. Lovely. Right, I should warn you. <laughs> This is hardly a fair fight. <laughs> <laughs> nah, bro. As soon as he would have kept walking after that first shot, I'd have been like, I don't want no part of his life anymore. I'm, I'm just gonna go flip burgers. Damn, fucking palm strike right to the nose noggin. We still need to find Malcolm. Absolutely. Y'all should just work no, together the whole we time. Split up, we'll cover more ground. Okay. But no hogging all the fun if you find him first. Deal. Deal. Y'all are cute together, man. It makes me very happy. Good night. Oh, 
sure you don't walk into the motherfucking stab you make stab stab. I mean, wow. I could tell it was something special, but I had no idea that was gonna work. <laughs> but you uh, never know until you try. Oh my fuck. Yeah, it looks so scary now, I'm gonna do it. Yeah, I'm in the dude. Y'all split up kind of walking in the same direction. Oh, part of no hogging, don't you understand? Besides, it's, it's just a flesh wound. As you can see what you're whining about. What happened? Hey, Maze, your fucking knife is You're in him. Struck with a blade, not of this world, Maze. One of mine. Mm-hmm. Yes. I'll handle this. How? Find. She said, "Don't fucking question me, my guy." With pleasure. With pleasure. You know I can't let you do that. Oh, you don't know what he's done. You never believed me, anyway. But all you need to know is that he's here to get money, and then he's going to disappear, for good. You mean this money? I'm not here to arrest you, Lucifer. I'm on I your team. I always have. Yeah. So let's catch this bastard together and put an end to all this. Oh, look at us reunited, hey. and it feels so good. Reunited. Well, we without his getaway cash. Hey. Where's Maze? Hashtag Take besties. Something important. Oh, of course, your ninja bartender is off on a secret mission. Did you pick him up and carry him all the way here? I made my peace with death. Whether I go to heaven or hell. I know exactly where you're going. Nowhere. You're staying Nowhere. Right here. Yeah, staying here with me, I'll baby. Shut up and let me help you. That's what type of damage that fucking thing's doing? What about this yellow duck feather I have? You took that from Lucifer. I kept it a secret. I don't understand this either. Ooh, Maze got feelings, boy. That's pretty fucking cool right there. I like that. Why do I feel like I'm walking death row? Showed him a final meal now at the same time. Dan says he hasn't handled. What would you order for your final meal? Let's just say one of two things. Either you know, like, hey, you're, you're going to die. Like, five hours. Anything you want is ready. It doesn't have to be prepared. Like, it's just ready. Or you're on death row. Whatever it is. You get your last meal. What are you picking? I think it's a great question because I genuinely don't know on the spot. There's part of me that's like, ooh, I had this really good burger in Georgia, right, at the Green Pub. That burger would be a pretty good last meal. I've had some pretty fire sushi rolls that I'm like, yeah, this is amazing. Uh, a rose con pollo from a local spot with the queso cheese is also pretty fire. Steak and chicken on top with the rice. Oh. Really good. Uh, believe it or not, old Charlie's has a really good steak called the Louisiana Sirloin. Medium rare. Would be pretty fire. Texas Roadhouse ribs. Or they're just their bread with the cinnamon butter. I don't think I have like a definitive answer. Maybe all of that stuff. Fuck it, you know. Or a cheesecake. Or a ramen burger. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or a chicken strip basket from Dairy Queen. Hmm. There's a lot of different food. Uh, uh, 50 piece nugget bucket from Wendy's. There's a lot of things going through my head right now. Didn't know you had the stones. And the more detective douche. Gall stones, kidney well, stones. At least. One of them. <laughs> He's doing, honestly, the right thing. The honorable thing. There goes her fucking phone, and of course, I need to say this. it's Trixie. Hey, Everything okay? Hello, Decker. Oh, you son of a bitch. Welcome. How's the priest? Oh, no, 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 no. Why you got Trixie's phone? Buddies at the station. Oh, and I made a new friend today, too. Pulled her out of a boring class for some bonding time. Here, say hi. 
Hey, mommy. Hmm. That poor little Trixie, bro. I'll smack shut you, Malcolm. <clears throat> Fuck that school for leaving, letting that happen. No hesitation on her part, though, to even do any of this. I don't blame her because it is her daughter. She didn't even tell Lucifer anything, but I think Lucifer will pick up on some context clues right there. Read the room, brother. Read the room. I was about to say, is somebody fucking with her for the police car? <laughs> Why is he using... There's no way that, that was his actual voice for a second. Was that his American voice? Get the fuck out of here. What are you doing? Perhaps that phone call earlier wasn't as innocuous as you made it out to be. Make it rain, baby. Throw it. Throw it, throw it, throw it, throw it, throw it ass in a circle. Malcolm has Trixie. Yeah, this is real, Lucy. Oh. This is real. Get him his money. He'll let her go. Right. Now the other one. All of them. Get all your glizzies out. Got the pocket, the leg pocket glizzy, the bayonetta. There, you happy? And once I get my money, sure. So where is it? It's in the motherfucking trunk. Not without Trixie. Oh, come on, Decker. Malcolm, that's the deal. I'll come find you. Oh, man, I want to play a game. I know you don't. Baby. If, if you're going to do it, do it back here, bitch. Anyways. Put this sweet, loving kid in the car. Okay, Chloe? And then give this dickhead his money. Or Lucifer could show up. Or anything else can happen. But I played The Walking Dead. And you can't... The, the, the Telltale game and just some of these ankles make me nervous. That's all I'm saying. Really well, okay. Go. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go right fun. now. Didn't stick too well, did it? Guess I need to find more perm. I think since this is a season finale, she's going to see his true shit right here. It's gotta be it. Solution. Give me the gun, Mal. Why? Not afraid of you. All you're doing is getting yourself killed, and for what? To buy your precious detective some more time? No. Now I want to ask you a question. <laughs> what do you desire, Malcolm? What's your deepest desire? He loves life. He loves burgers and milkshakes and fucking waffles. Almost. Almost. Oh, there's the gunshot. <laughs> yeah, that one hit because Chloe's in the fucking vicinity. One more thing. Is it murder? Done it. Well, you actually didn't feel yourself die, did you? You were kind of like ah! in a fucking coma. I think so soon. <laughs> wow, Lucifer actually tried to grab Don't for that worry. coin, bro. You won't be going alone. I'll be sending Decker along right behind you. <laughs> oh, Chloe. Oh, Decker. Jesus Christ, Lucy, bro. Get up. I mean, he's laying there just fucking dying. Father, please forgive me for I know not what I do. Hey, bro, you're bleeding out on the fucking... Yeah. You're already in the suit, laying like you're in a coffin. Heartbeat stops and the brother is gone. Don't worry, there's 90 episodes after this one, so he's fine. Hey, this brother is fucking dead, dead. They always kind of paint death like this too in this bluish color. This is impossible. <sighs> he did a sit up. Did daddy bring you back to life? Ooh, he said it's playtime now, baby. <laughs> yeah, she gonna see his true nature. I think something just happened. I don't know what, either old pops up there hurt him something and also if we don't get a lucy i'm home moment at some point in this show i'll be really pissed off hello malky <laughs> what's up baby right punch right to the motherfucking face noggin 
God damn, son. Pop, 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 pop. I saw three bullet holes and four shots. Looking for this. That coin. You're looking for that one? Is that what's... I know a guy. <laughs> Apparently, he wants me back here. Wow. So is that him actually officially using that coin? Where is he? Sorry, pal. One use only. Wow, his get out jail free coin, baby. Only had one though. There's 90 episodes left. Jesus fuck. Come sail away. Oh, you had to make. Oh, horrible. That's the face you're gonna die with. Jesus fuck. At least close your mouth. Come out, honey. Mom, is it over? Yeah, baby, it's over. Oh, Trixie's okay. Chloe's okay. Lucy's okay. We're all good. Excuse me if I don't join the group hug. Little TLC? Trixie, Lucifer, Chloe? That's their name. Tables, ladders, and chairs? Mm. Chloe, you literally watch this man get shot in the navel. Gargled on his own fucking blood spit on the ground in a pool of blood. And now he's up like nothing happened. No vest, no bullet holes, nothing. I thought he killed you. What the fuck do you think just happened? All I'm saying is Jules in Pulp Fiction got shot at 80-something times. None of the bullets hit him, and he was convinced it was divine intervention off of one act. You've seen multiple acts. You should just fucking go with it. Just believe what he has to say. I spoke to Dad. Excuse me? <laughs> Motherfucker, what? In exchange for... Well, that doesn't really matter. He accepted He replied to you. That motherfucker said, what? Come again? Excuse me, moi? Well, not in words, but his message was clear. And what does father want? Someone's escaped from hell. Must have seen a window of opportunity last night. Now, year. they did say everybody gets their own door. And when he walked through that door, that door was busted open. So, who is it? Azazel? Who escaped hell? Mom. Mary Magdalene? What? Who, who do you mean it was gay? Mom. Uh, all right. There's a... <laughs> Mom. Uh, so Lucifer has a mother. So God, he can't really get mad at Aminadil for fucking, because apparently God then laid in some uh, heavenly divine strokes, one would say. But isn't like the whole thing with God is like he is everything. Like we're made in his image. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, the whole Holy Trinity. Is it just another carbon copy of himself? An evil version that he went through like a BDSM phase. So he was like getting tied up and you know. Hmm. Anyways, that's season one. That's a wrap. We've wrapped up most of the story arcs. Chloe did not get to see him in devil form. So that didn't happen. That's still up in the air. It feels so open-ended. But Amenadil is now, looks like he's kind of working with Lucifer just a little bit, which is nice. I love them two together. The brotherly bond. You guys know my weakness in shows is brotherly bonds. Stefan and Damon. It's fucking Scotty and Styles, et cetera, et cetera. All down the line. Uh, uh, if I can... Thinking of all the other shows instead of the big ones, but like Klaus and Elijah, everything else is leaving me. But any sort of like brotherly bond is really my whole thing. Bucky and Sam, you know. Uh, so getting getting Lucifer and Aminadil together is really, really nice. That's wrapped up. Malcolm's story's wrapped up. That guy played his part perfectly. All the kind of annoying characters kind of got dealt with. Not a whole lot of reoccurring characters outside the police force. And the one reverend. Lucifer made friends. He lost friends. A lot of Spider-Man references. A lot of Star Wars references. Three to three at the end of the season, to be to be fair. Unless I missed one. Dan turned himself in, which was big, as he should have. He should have turned himself in. He did the right thing. 
in that regard. But Malcolm's dealt with uh, Trixie's adorable as ever. Maze is gone. We don't know where Maze is. Maybe mom, mum, my mum, my bloody mum, mate. Maybe mum then came and got Maze. Maybe that's something going on. We still have no inkling, at least on the surface, about why Chloe weakens him. And Lucifer hasn't given that exposition to his brother yet either. So depending on where season two, episode one takes place, like how far in the future or how close to this, is going to be pretty nutty. So framed for a murder, Lucifer works with Chloe to clear his name. Amenadiel does battle with a deadly foe. Lucifer asks for a favor. So Amenadiel's healed based off the feather. They both had their one-off. Maze uses the one-off feather to one-off heal Amenadiel. And Lucifer uses his coin to come back to life, or at least he gets a favor from his pops. But mom's broken free. My dearest mommy. So mom's broken free. We'll see how that actually, who the fuck that is and how that plays out. I got nothing. I don't know what name would have caught me by surprise. I was like going through saints in my head and like different people like St. Paul. I'm like, oh my God, what? No way. Judas. What? It was a pretty good season, man. I like the season. Um, again, I'm going to say it a thousand times. The uh, I really wish it was more of the biblical stuff rather than the, the detective things. That did play a good part into it with Malcolm and everything throughout the whole thing. But that early on, just like, oh, here's a case. Here's a case. Here's a case. Here's a case. This is the show. This is the show. Ha ha. One liner. You know, it. it was what it was. But we exit our 13-episode season and get into an 18-episode season, which is season two. So as you guys know, we don't have a, a reaction the exact following day. Instead, we'll have the recap. And then the next day after that, we will have season two, episode one. So after the season one recap, oh my God, there's something in my eye. We'll have season two, episode one. So the finale's name, again, was Take Me Back to Hell. Season two, episode one is entitled, Everything's Coming Up, Lucifer. I just can't wait for Chloe to be like, holy shit, that's who you are. I'm in pain. Everything you said was right. I can't wait for Dr. Martin to also have that realization. More Lucifer, more Menadiel, more Chloe, more Trixie, more Dr. Martin, and whoever else they decide to introduce along the way. And on that note, God's out here going to protect Chloe. We'll see how long that lasts. We'll have links and everything in the description box down below. We'll have playlists up on screen. As always, stay cute, stay hydrated, and I will catch you on the next one.